Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Circuit Superstars. I haven't actually placed or driven one of the stock cars yet, so I'm very interested to see how it all works. Sounds like a stock car, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, this already feels very heavy, sluggish in comparison to like the um, Formula GP, as it's called, I guess, in this game. I don't think I've ever raced on this track either, so this is kind of interesting. So I kind of take this hairpin, kind of tap the throttle on the way through, lift off a little bit there hard on the brakes. Come around here, and that is our pre-qualifying lap. So let's see if we can do better here. That was very wide on that first hairpin, and still going wide. I should have done more on the brakes on the entrance. So I'll do that here. Nice. A little bit better. Still coming out a little bit wide. And touch the apex. Kind of go around the curb there. Lift off the gas there, come on over, hard and brakes. Touch the inside of the curb. Lift off there. Hard on the brakes around here. Kind of tap it on the way through. And across the line. Wow, I sucked. <laughs> wow, this is a very competitive lobby and I'm not going to do well. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, well, to be fair, I was doing the, I want to say it was the amateur difficulties of the uh, Formula GP Grand Prix. Um, you know, just kind of doing that little tournament style there, and I was like beating people by multiple laps. I'm like, I need a little bit more of a challenge than this, so um, I was hoping to probably go up to pro uh, after then. But uh, as of right now... Um, Wow, that was surprising. I was not expecting to do so well right there. Just everybody crashed and just created this nice little spot for me to drive right through. So I'm apparently I just got to be consistent. Don't fall off the road or have any accidents and I'll be up. I'm already in the upper part of the midfield and I was thinking that that would be my best place finishing is fourth. So... The fact that I could be dueling for podiums pretty quickly here is pretty exceptional. So the guy in front of us went wide, but so did we. Herbin Legend. Herbin, some, almost like Herbie, almost. Yeah, but I am not focusing right now, and I'm going wide. Oop. Kind of an uneventful race so far. Oh, started losing it in the grass. Oh, can't be doing that. So we got this interesting battle as I've been screwing up quite poor, well, quite badly. That's a, oh, screw off. Get off of here. So this guy here is a dirty driver, so I'll just be dirty right back to him. hate people who do that. Unbelievable. So earlier, I was... Yeah, he's like wall riding and stuff. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for a pit. Honestly, I don't care that much. Um, I try to race as cleanly as I possibly can. But some people are just complete jerks like that, and that really agitates me to no end, because this is like, this game is very much so part of the sim mindset, where it's, you have to be worried about your breaking points, about where your turning angles are, um, if you're hitting the apexes right, you know, when you're lifting off the brakes or going to back down onto the throttle. And some people look at this game, they're like, oh, it's cute colors, so it means it's an arcade game. No, I mean, kind of. No, I found it to be... 
a very difficult game if you have the um, arcade mindset. But when you have a sim racing mindset, this game is so enjoyable. So I wonder where our troublemakers went. Yes, I'm in 8th, but the fact that I qualified 10th is like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay with that. I'm still surprised I got as far as 4th, but knowing the troublemakers being involved. Yep, there they go. Oh, here's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best to be, yeah, clean. Excuse me. <laughs> so we got 70% on tires and 72% on fuel. I'll notice some tire degradation starting to pop up a little bit. I'm surprised the guy behind us is actually catching up as well as he is. Ooh, close racing here for fourth. Can we get on the inside? No. I've always struggled with people who go slightly slower and you have a slightly faster car. Oh, come on. Yep, that's the self-imposed penalty. Take it. <laughs> I should not be doing that, so nope, just take a spot back. I kind of go past him. He'll, he'll go back into whatever place he is. But yeah, the tires are starting to feel real, real wonky. Oh, track limits. My bad. I'm just trying to hold off this guy here. I don't get when the ghosting is applicable because there are times where it's like, yeah, or I don't know if that guy is a lap up or something. But whenever you're nearby somebody, you should definitely always have collision on. So I get that some points it's kind of like Forza where you can tell when people are dive bombing purposely or you're like, yeah, okay, enough of that. <laughs> A lot of the times it's like having close racing is really satisfying and having a little bit of the rubbing bumpers and stuff is makes it really interesting. Yeah, I kind of like this right here. Yeah, my tires are completely are really getting wonky. Come on. Three abreast. Channeling my inner Martin Brundle with my commentary. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've got fourth on this one. I will s happily take fifth. But this guy... Ooh. <laughs> Look at we go! Whoa! At the last moment, too! Look at that! <laughs> was not expecting that at all in the least. Wow! That was fun. I'm going to be fully honest, you know, if, if this guy here is purposely being a jerk, then screw off. We had a good race. I feel totally proud of being in fourth ahead of you that close. But if you were just, like, starting out and trying to learn how to play the game and whatnot, I'll, I'll apologize for dive bombing and being a, you know, jerk right back to you. You know, if you're a newbie, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs>